especially for the hero. Yeah. Cause she gets what the she wants, yeah. Cause she's different from the mother. And she opens up her closet. Is it filled up with designer clothes? If you want to discover fashion, to hero, she the girl can make it happen, yeah. First in the hero, shake it like Shakira. How could I say this any clearer? She's sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Hey guys and welcome back to Discover Fashion and Entertainment, our first episode for the year. I want to take this time out to wish you a happy, happy new year and I pray that all your goals will be accomplished, alright? Today we are at the 473 Grenada Boutique Resort. I want to say a special thank you to them and we are about to chillax and chat with our next guest. He is no stranger to the camera and he is, I should say, our breakout artist our upcoming artist that is doing great things so far. So when we get back, I'll introduce you to him. Stay tuned. unique photography your memories are just as special to us as they are to you trust our professionals to help you capture your special moments while guiding you in the best way to do so at an affordable price unique photography is your one-stop shop for all your photography needs including real estate photography weddings portraits private shoots drone photography and videography we also offer a range of products that can personalize the way you cherish and display your memories including key rings, photo dog tags, ceramic tiles, t-shirt printing, clocks, canvases, plaques, and mugs. Call us today on 420-9379 or email us at uniquephotography2014 at gmail.com. Unique Photography, where passion meets professionalism. Welcome back guys, so I am here with our upcoming R&B artist, our very own Young Pert. How are you? I'm, a, I'm good to hear, I'm good. How was your day? Well, my day was good. I can't, I can't complain really, you know, mm, it's nice. awesome, yeah. Nice, I should say Happy New Year. Uh, to same you. to you, same goes thank out you, to you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, for one, um, most people know me as energetic, funny, just charismatic and casual. And I All like right. to keep things simple, you know? All right. You know, that kind of hype up things, yeah. Okay. So I'm just easy going. And your name? I know we know Young Pert, but what is your, you know, formal name? Uh, formal name, but given name, uh, Darren Joshua Wayne Jackson, yeah. Uh, born 1997, December 16th, yeah. Nice. Bad boy day. <laughs> so tell us, when did you start writing music? Um... I started writing music about eight years now. I started back when I was in secondary school. 
um, I would say Farm 2, Farm 3 to be exact, mm -hmm. um, was just basically beating off table, right, table that's, that's with all, friends. Always how it yeah, starts. yeah, it's fun and um, um, got inspiration from one of my friends actually having to tell me like, because oh, I used to sing and it's like, yo, bro, you're bad, that, that song is wicked, like, you know? Mm -hmm. and then I took it into consideration and then I sat one night home and I was up and I beat in the table and I actually wrote a song of just beating the table, like having the beat in my head. Like and what was the name of that song? You remember? Um, well, I wrote it because I was in, I had my first crush, I uh, think. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> first high school crush. Did you um, get to sing it for her though? Yeah, of course. Oh, uh -huh. okay, that's nice. And she liked it. She was like, froze. Nice. She was like, ah. Sweet. Yeah, I can still remember it up to this day, though, you know. I can't get out of my mind. Nice. So, yeah, it's fresh. I think it's, um, Miss you, girl. Yeah, I'm so glad that I met you, girl. Aww. So, like that, yeah. Hello, that would be sweet. Of course. Very romantic. I guess you were very romantic in school then. Yeah, 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 you know. <laughs> Girls, them sugar. <laughs> <laughs> but not all that way. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So have you always been interested in music or was there a particular song or performance that made you be like, okay, whoa, I really want to do this? Mm -hmm. I haven't always been interested in music at first, but I was interested in the entertainment section. All oh, right. Yeah. From young age, um, I like dancing. So Michael mm. Jackson was my biggest icon, my, you know, nice. someone I would look up to. And because my name is my son is Jackson, so you know. <laughs> so you, walk, you feel like you feel like I could dress up with that, you know, <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> so um, then I just took it up from that, and artists came along, such as Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love Chris Breezy, nice. all the way, you know. And then Usher stuff, and then new era coming. Yeah, have Tory Lanez and stuff like Bryson Taylor. Just <laughs> say no more. Say so no. So they motivate you to yeah, go they, to the music? Yeah, they, made, they motivated me to like just go at be it. me and just keep at it, like, you know, nice. give something different. Nice, nice. And what inspires your writing? Do you draw inspiration from poems, TV, radio, other media? Um, my, my inspiration basically comes from, I write off a third person. Okay. So like I will write a song based on your experience or something I see. Oh, okay. Or a mood I get, yeah. So you just start and just jotting down things and create a story, or just basically off the top, I just come up with an idea. Like I'm gonna sing about that, you know? Cause normally I base my hook off the first thing I say or I think of that I wanted. So that the hook leads me to write the verse and the song. Nice. Yeah. Now, what do you enjoy most about being an artist? Um, so far, you have been doing an amazing job. Like. Yeah. All social media that I go to, YouTube, mm. Instagram, Facebook, it's Young Part, it's Sweetie, <laughs> that new release that you have. Well, you know, by now, Sweetie is one of my favorite songs. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. my introduction for Discover Fashion. Uh -huh. I just had to get on it. Like, each time I hear that song, it's like, mm. oh gosh, I need yeah. to play it over again and I, again and again. It's really nice. Yeah. Um, being an artist, it's fun because you get to meet other artists as well right and the thing about it is like it opens up opportunities like as we're here right now mm -hmm. nice environment i mean who doesn't love pools right yes and I to know. go exotic places and stuff like you know <laughs> so it just brings that vibes and also it helps me um it also helps to uh, motivate others like you know by making others listen seeing your work and getting to know you and seeing what you've done it inspires them and gives them i say i would say hope and the chance that okay like if he could do it then right. I, c I could do it too you know mm -hmm. so yeah so it's it's fun uh, yeah. nice and you're enjoying the journey so far of course i have to <laughs> how many shows you have done so far i know we have the lockdown going on but uh -huh. have you performed in any little events or yeah before before sweetie and stuff came off i actually had a chance to perform in december to remember okay yeah that was one of my first on stage performances um for this year I happen to have my own event called Candyland, which... Okay. Oh, right. Yes, I saw that. Yeah. So that's in yes, partnership yes. with La mm -hmm. So shout out La on that. And also Club Bananas and stuff like that. And 
I think that's about it. Not anything other than Major. that because of the COVID. And right. Stuff. You said you performed in December to remember 2019. That was your first time on stage. I think so 2019, 2018, there about one of them. But how did you feel like first time being on stage? You see a whole crowd in front of you. I was scared. How was it? Scared? I was scared, yeah. Like, I was just like, whew, really? at, at the backstage, like, inside my hands, sweaty, Sorry. like, getting time to come down, like, hearing um, the MC saying, like, so, yes, people, in the next two minutes, you're yeah. going to come on stage, we're going to have a first act for the night, or like, Ooh, I wonder how I go be by ah. So you know, so like, mm -hmm. can I get the GGs or the jitters? I would say you know, but I find I like I did well you know in terms of like I just when, as the I reached up, I just you. I just blank it out and say yeah I just had to do me and do it right yeah and then like just went out and just and as fast sing. as you perform it just ease off yeah it just ease off it just right boring. but all still up to this point I still get a little afraid like nervous when I have to mm -hmm. go and sing like when times come in but then as I hit the stage it's like. I'm in it, and this is what I love to do, so I'm doing it. And always remember that the people love you, and they love your music. Yeah, thanks. And on that note, let's talk about Sweetie. The inspiration behind Sweetie is my favorite song, so tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> Writing that song, how long did it take you to write that song? Mm -hmm. The production, you also did a video, uh -huh. really nice video as well. Yeah, thanks. Shout out to Frizz on that video. Tell us a little bit about it. Um, Basically... Sweetie came about when a night I went up in the studio. I think I may spend the weekend. Yeah. And we was me and Guns. Yeah, was in the studio and we were just going through YouTube mm -hmm. and we was like picking beats, listening it, searching we like and then we stumbled upon Sweetie Beats. Oh, okay. Yeah. The the name of the beat is Sweetie, right? The name oh, of the beat is Sweetie, yeah. Okay. So then we listened it. He went first. He did, he did. I took a nap, took a five. Then afterwards, he gets tired and he said, say, put, boy, come and try something. Come, come, come. I said, okay. I got up. I sat, I listened it. And then, as I was just watching the caption of the name itself, Sweetie, mm -hmm. I just think back to like, you know, like, yeah, a lot of sweet girls at Saturday, but what I could say, like, in place of sweetie like to represent a girl like like to tell her that she's sweet and then like back in the days you know it was like i said i can't you say oh i want a sweetie right i'm going to i'm going to buy a sweetie or something like mm -hmm. you know so then i get like that and he came up and I'm like okay so like fashion and all them kind of things they're like she gets what she wants because she's different from the mother girls and opens up her closet that's him i'm talking about a word group and open right, and yes like, dripping out mm -hmm. and it's filled up with designer clothes and she's always in the top shit so pretty that she's always on the topic wow and she ain't even got a cop she, she pulling up in the drop she, when me say she's sweetie 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 yeah, yeah. and i can't mm -hmm. say your body fire my girl yeah uh, yeah she gets what she wants because she's different from the mother Opens up her closet and it's filled up with designer clothes. She's always in the top shit, uh, so pretty that she's always on the topic. Oh, she ain't even got a cop shit, pulling up in the drop shit. Sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Must say your body fine, my girl, honey, dreamy, dreamy, dreamy. May I be tell you one more time, yeah, it's sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Must say your body fine. And then, just like that, song was there, dead hook, and I just stood up. I stayed up the whole night and actually just freestyled on the verse, just to get a verse and stuff like freestyle. that. Freestyle? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because then, them time I was thinking about, I could put a little African kind of style, mm -hmm. or because I used to listen to Relance, I say, you know, kind of Tory Lane vibes could go there too, and stuff, so, you know. I just mm -hmm. did and I worked that and I put it in my own way and just came up with it and just went through that. And did yeah. you know that it would have been like so big of a song? Because I heard, um, was it Puff Daddy? What was the DJ? In DJ Babbitt? Puffy. Right, he did a, a dub as well with yeah, that yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a dub. So you ever thought that song would have blew up so much and oh. people would love it? Actually, that much? actually, no. Like it, that song in itself was not in my favorites, my list of favorite songs. Oh, really? Honestly, 
that was not in my list of favorite songs. But then, by the end of the day, as a musician, what I would say is, it's not up to you, but it's that up to the people. Exactly, the people that, that creates the that hits. That creates the hits and stuff for yes. you. So yes. then, when I made it, and like, people were like, wow, like, whoa, like, where is he from? Like, he from Grenada? No, he can't be from Grenada. He's yes. from foreign man. I was like, yeah. And like, the love started came in. I love your song, and this and that, and everybody. Mad, mad talent, you know. They're looking for the songs international, like, it I just does. felt good, like, it does. yeah, it does. It just give me that adrenaline boost and that vibe. So, say, yeah, we're in it. And what is your favorite song? And can you pin down why it is your favorite song? My favorite song for now, I have a list, you know, a list of favorites. But if I had to choose one of my favorite songs, it would be Perfect Timing. How does one, this one goes? Um, it goes like. I got to put my feet down, can't afford to sleep now. I don't put my all into this, okay. about eight years now. It's like a hip hop, mm -hmm. but it's okay. like me basically expressing the way I feel right. throughout what I've been through and like what I want to get. So you know, it's a kind of a go get it song. Right. So it has that kind of hype energy behind it. Nice. Yeah. What is your plans for the next 12 months? What can we expect from Young Pert in the next? Well, 2021 start and like I say, thank God for life always. Right. And since he's the source of everything, 2021, the next 12 months going, I say like, I'm just gonna put out great music. I'm just gonna push myself more, get out of my comfort zone, All right. release music like that wows people like, you know, cause I just been laying back still, but it's oh, time to come so out that's and- that's just a tip of the iceberg. That's just the get tip it. of ah, the iceberg, okay. yeah. So it's just to really come out no one to give the people what they want to hear that right. song you know and just like wow it's just like a kind of skilly bang like how skilly bang pop up like right yeah <laughs> what sets your music apart what is at least uncommon about your music my music uh, what sets me apart is basically it's just me being me and just bringing what my creative my creativity to the table mm -hmm. and saying i'm not I look at like or I don't song that like or I don't want to be branded. So right. when you hear me, you could tell, oh, this is young. Part. This is young part. Like this is not. This is not, although like you know Chris Brown doing. But if you play a Chris Brown young part, you say, oh, this is Chris Brown. This is young part. You know. Mm -hmm. And that's what I wanted, and that's what sets me apart really, and that's what I aim for. Like to just to have a distinct song for myself, like a bracket me and see that's him. Nice, nice. Yeah. So guys, we will take a short break, and we'll be right back. unique photography your memories are just as special to us as they are to you trust our professionals to help you capture your special moments while guiding you in the best way to do so at an affordable price unique photography is your one-stop shop for all your photography needs including real estate photography weddings portraits private shoots drone photography and videography we also offer a range of products that can personalize the way you cherish and display your memories including key rings, photo dog tags, ceramic tiles, t-shirt printing, clocks, canvases, plaques, and mugs. Call us today on 420-9379 or email us at uniquephotography2014 at gmail.com. Unique Photography, where passion meets professionalism.
she the girl can make it happen, yeah. First in the hero, shake it like Shakira. How could I say this any clearer? She's sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Must say everybody find my girl, honey, dreamy, dreamy, dreamy. Welcome back, guys. So we are here with your new favorite artist, my new favorite artist, Young Pert. Let us talk about your new release. What's the name? Uh, oh. Butter, Don't waste my time. Yeah. Yes. Tell us about that song, the inspiration behind it, who produced the music, everything. Oh uh, well, it's written by yours truly, Ma. Okay. From start <laughs> to finish. <laughs> <laughs> um, waste my time was written off playing off ahead. Um, it was just listening a beat, just trying to make some music. You know, it was trying to okay. kill time, and then I was looking for a way how to start it, and then I just was thinking of food at the same time because I was hungry. <laughs> 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 and then it, okay. it just so came to mind that, like, you know, I say a long time I eat a peanut butter jelly, you know, like, uh -huh. and because that fit one <laughs> time as I sit, I just chuck it in the sun and like, oh, wow. Peanut butter jelly, can I call you? Wow. Slap me in the DM with you, Harbu. And I just want to tell you that I love you. It got me here wide open. But don't you waste my time. Yeah. Hey. Whoa. Uh. Peanut butter jelly, can I call you? Slime me in the DM with you, Harbu. I just want to tell you that I love you. Got me here wide open. wide open. But don't you waste my time. Don't you waste my time. All this on you must be hectic. Walking around Gucci purses, love your necklace. Switch it up now. Look at me, wow. Pulling up, tight down, down. Money truck, wow. Rolly bust it down, diamonds on me, DDS. Sorry, I ain't talking about a sketch. Can I just say I'm falling hard? I can help myself. So can we probably get to spend some time? So it's just like that, you know, like having to describe a girl like wanting to meet her, but mm -hmm. by the end of the day, like you don't want to waste your time. Like yes. it's all in vain. Nobody wants to waste Nobody your time. Nobody wants to be wasted. Yes. Yeah. And uh, the video, though, I like it. Yeah, like it's fun. Yeah, yeah. Who came up with the concept and everything? Um. Well, my manager came up with the concept. Yeah. Videl came up with it. Like you know. So shout um, out to the manager, Videl. Shout out that to Videl good. and. Also, um, the videographer. Damn. Yeah. Two of them, I think, yeah. Two of them, basically, they work hand in hand together. And they came up with the, was supposed to be like a kind of yearbook thing. Right. But I guess yes. um was due to the, the time and what the resources we had. Mm -hmm. We had to um, kind of flip it, you know. So big up to CJ, the videographer, you know. And the actors, too. They and actors, all my musical friends, my DJ, Baggy. You know, all the happy boy, the Khalifa, you know, so shout out to them for coming too. Um Talpy's son came through as well. Um right. Talpy Jr. Oh right, yeah. right, yeah. Can't believe forget the name though, but shout out to him as well. Um so yeah they came through and we made it fun and it was nice. You know, and I enjoyed the vibes, enjoyed it all around. And looking forward to doing more music like with a lot of locals and stuff, and my nice. friends and stuff to put them in it. So, I yeah. realize that you always release a video as well with your music. You know, some artists will put out the song and then they will put the video maybe a yeah. month or so, but you always release your song with a video, video. and that is really nice. Yeah, um, reason being because like time goes along, things are getting more advanced. Right. So like visuals really capture people. Like. People and I love like the way see. you think. I love the way you think. Yeah. A lot of people, a lot of artists don't realize that. When you do videos, yeah, you get it more. It boosts the songs as well. It boosts the songs. Yeah. yeah. It gives it that vibe because 
Visuals yeah. is what captivates people. People like to see things, you know? It's smart. So you can hear the music, you like it, yes, but it won't last as long as if, like, you, you have actually video. hear it and it registers in your mind when you're watching something with it, you know, like the ah, yeah. So that's it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Where can the people view or stream your music, I should say? Well, um, they can stream me on Spotify, um, YouTube. Um, you can find me on Instagram at young on the young underscore Perth. That's Y U N G underscore Perth. Uh, YouTube also on Young Perth and Facebook as Darren Jackson or Young Perth. Nice. Well, I want to wish you all the best. You started off well. You're going well. Always remember to put God first. Of course, of course. And you will definitely reach your destination. Right, thank all you. Right? Thank you so much, Tahir. Nice. So, is there any other thing that you would like to share with the fans? A little thank you. Oh, uh, sure. Um, I would like to say thanks to Frizz. Thanks to CJ. Shout out my team, Vida, Roxy, all the fans for their support, the love. Nice. I'm so grateful. It's generous, and that it keeps me going. You know, and I just want to say that I, I appreciate y'all so much from the bottom of my heart. And I just want to say thank you also for having me here to hear. You're welcome. Um, keep up the good it's work. It's a pleasure you know? having you. All right, thank, thank you very much. Nice. Guys, thank you so much for viewing. And I will see you next Saturday for another amazing episode of Discover Fashion and Entertainment. See you. It's a fake. You ain't got to ask. I just got to think for you. My heart's alone with feeling you. Look at that. Got me looking back. Shorty, I just got a feeling. You know that I'm probably watching you. I can feel that energy. Maybe that telepathy. Yeah. Leading me to where you be. And somehow, I don't know.